dispenser? Yep, right here. Haven't I married you two before? Almost. Oh, co-feet. That was a family emergency. Oh, right. Your son, wasn't it? How, how is he? Uh, I don't believe we've met. I'm Nicholas Cassidyne, uh, his brother and witness. Oh, so you two are planning on staying through the vows this time? Yes. There shouldn't be any interruptions. And we have here it's, uh, Spencer and McKenna. Okay, I'm missing one. Oh. Ah. Last month. Here we go. Are we waiting on any late arrivals? No. You sure? Last chance to back out. I told you I'd marry you, didn't I? Let's just get on with it already. I know that this is unconventional, but it's right. And I look forward to the adventure that we're about to embark on together. We are gathered here today in the presence of this witness to join Lucas Lorenzo Spencer and CEO... Uh, why, why don't I just say it? Siobhan? In holy matrimony. It's not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently and solemnly. If any person can show just cause why they should not be joined, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. Do you, Lucky, take CEO... Siobhan. ...to be your wife, promising to love, honor, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others as long as you both shall live? I do. You've got my heart. That's a permanent lock. Everything I am... by the state of New York, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. There's nowhere else I'd rather be right now. Did you... I wish I could take the credit, but something tells me it goes to my brother. Oh. No, actually, Alfred. I just made the call. So much for this keeping off. things simple. Uh, this is simple for a Cassidyne, actually. Um, if Alfred had gone all out, we would have put William and Kate to shame. <laughs> well, thank you. This really was very sweet. You are very, very welcome. <laughs> and I apologize that I don't agree with the circumstances surrounding your marriage. But I am happy... Very happy. Listen, you don't have to apologize for anything, okay? You, you showed up. You gave us your support, and that means more than you know. All right. Well, I'll have you know that I take my uh, best man witness skills very seriously. <laughs> so. <laughs> so a toast to my brother and to his beautiful bride for having the faith to leap without looking. And may this marriage be an adventure worth having for years and years to come. <laughs> Here, 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 here. Cheers. All right, so how does it feel to be Mrs. Lucky Spencer? Come oh, on. Well, it's a relief to know that I'm not going to be carted out of the country. A relief? Why did I have to practically beg you well, to stay? I didn't want to be a burden. Do you feel pressured in any way? I have never felt pressured by you. The immigration, that's another story. Speaking of them, to the Department of Immigration <laughs> for forcing my hand. <laughs> into that. Oh. Well, it's hard to know when to leave a party when you're the only guest. Well, you gotta at least take an extra piece of cake home to Spencer, you know, get them all hyped up for bed. Oh, uh, I don't I don't know if all that sugar would 
Be good with Cam and Aiden spending the night. I'll never get him to bed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was Elizabeth's first shift back at work, so I just mm -hmm. didn't want her to be overwhelmed. Thought I'd help her out. Yeah. Well, thank you for uh, taking care of her and the kids and us and everything. You know, I really welcome, appreciate man. it. Thanks. You're welcome. And you make a beautiful bride. Oh, it was a perfect day. Yes, it was. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Come here, Mrs. Spencer. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I'm putting the cake away. Got to get the top layer in the freezer, so we'll have something for our anniversary. It's tradition. Do I have a nervous newlywed on my hands? You know where the kisses lead. Is there something wrong with that? No, but I want to get the cake put away before it spoils. I'm sure Nicholas's chef can whip us up another one. You know, it is bad luck to cut a cake and not eat a piece of it. You know, I think you just make up these superstitions and say they're <sighs> Irish folklore because I wouldn't know the difference. Do you really want to tempt fate? My name is Lucky. It's worked for me so far. <laughs> well, let me put the cake away, and then we can work on another famous tradition. The wedding night. track of the date. I'm, I didn't... I didn't have Jake here to remind me, I guess. I, he always... He'd start counting down the days until his birthday before the Christmas tree was even put away. You know, I mean, he, he loved opening presents. I found the coolest toy for his birthday this year. Ordered it months ago and could already see the look on his face. Don't need to open the box, just that pure joy. Can't believe I'm never gonna, you know, see my little boy smile again or blow out the candles on his cake. I'm sorry, I don't. No, it's fine. Lucky. in time that the good memories that you made with Jake will take over the sadness that you're feeling. You need to hold on to everything that you loved about your son and know that he'll always be with you. Yeah. Well, Jake deserves to be remembered that way. I'll go for a walk. Where are we going? Uh, I don't know. Just clear your head. I think the wind will do you some good. Do you plan on keeping me waiting? It hasn't 
hasn't been ours. You sure? Kind of feels like it. Well, maybe you should exercise a little patience. <laughs> Some things are worth waiting for. Hi. Hey. Um, this was this was just delivered to my house. Sorry, I, I I ordered it for Jake months ago. I, I forgot to tell you it's, it was sent to your It's place. fine. I mean, he would have he would have loved it. He's very own little motorcycle, but I can't keep it. I, if Cameron sees it, he's gonna want it, and that just it wouldn't be fair because it's it's Jake's birthday present. I just I don't 